It's set to become the latest state now to allow immigrants to get driver's licenses regardless of their legal status. This is a move that could affect tens of thousands of drivers. News 8's Aaron Cox live in our News 8 newsroom with more on the bill that's now on its way to the governor. Aaron. Hey, Sonia, good evening. And you know the governor is expected to sign this very controversial bill. But what is unclear, how many undocumented folks will really step forward and actually put themselves in the system? Many undocumented immigrants are already out there on the roads driving. Now advocates say they'll come out of the shadows and seek a legitimate driver's license. Everybody would like to be able to do things in a way that's as above board as possible. There's no question about it. So this will help them do that. It was a close vote in the Senate, but the legislation passed 19 to 16 and now heads to the governor's desk. The bill means undocumented people would be able to apply for a Connecticut driver's license beginning in January 2015. They'd have to pass the written and the road test, as well as obtain insurance. And Angel Fernandez of the Immigrants' Right Group Connect says it will make the roads safer for all. I know there are a lot of people who say this doesn't make any sense, but really it does benefit all of us in terms of, you know, the reduced insurance premiums, the fact that you won't have a bunch of uninsured drivers on the road, the fact that they'll be paying fee revenue to the state. Many Republicans voice concern, calling this bill well-intentioned but flawed. They point out that folks who apply for these licenses can be denied if they've committed a felony in Connecticut, but not if they've committed a felony in another state. They also point out that folks can use an invalid passport in order to apply for a Connecticut driver's license. This could have a big impact in New Haven, which five years ago launched the Elm City Resident Card and has issued 10,000 to date. That card was controversial, and so is this driver's license. That means that you may have more people coming into the country who don't, who aren't really citizens. It means they might not even be paying taxes, you know, which is a whole other route. Um, so, um, but I do also see the positive. So I, I hate to be wishy-washy, but I can see both sides. Advocacy groups say what they really have to do is educate and, sh and ensure the undocumented folks that having a Connecticut driver's license will not suddenly trigger a red flag or catch the attention of the federal immigration authorities. We're live tonight in the New Haven newsroom. I'm Erin Cox, News 8.